PickPacks is a program that is designed to take PNG objects from a folder and pack them together into an output picture. Each object has a transparent background and they're stored in a folder. Each object is randomly sized and rotated and placed into an output mask. The mask file consists of a PNG picture which also has transparency. Objects are only packed into areas of the background mask that are not transparent. So let's create a picture. First, we will choose a mask image, which is a PNG file with a transparent background. We chose a smiley face. Now we choose a folder containing PNG smi smiley face images. Once that's selected, we'll be able to build a picture. We've set the angle of rotation to zero so that pictures won't be randomly rotated as the picture is being built. As the picture is built, you can see that the images are being fitted from the folder of objects into the background picture. Wherever the background mask is not transparent, that's where the pictures will be placed. As soon as that's finished, the objects will be used to draw the final picture. This picture took 18 seconds to build. Let's try a different picture and we will select the background mask image called Kids. Then we'll select a library of objects which are kids' pictures. And we'll use that to build the picture. Click on Build. And as you can see, the pictures of kids are being used to fill the image. When that's finished, we will have a final image that has no rotated pictures and the maximum random side of each object is set, which is the width or the height, to 80. The minimum is 9. So each object will be no larger than 80 and no smaller than 9. We can set the minimum size lower than 9, so we can have smaller objects and more dense picture. Let's change the angle of rotation to about 60 degrees. That will rotate the objects up to 30 degrees clockwise and 30 degrees counterclockwise. Then let's do a build. And as you can see, although it's a bit subtle in this example, the pictures are being rotated randomly as they're packed into the background mask. There are several options we can use while working with the picture. Once it's finished being drawn, we can save it and then we can redraw it quickly with different settings like a scale and a magnification. And there's our kids picture. Now let's have a look at some samples that were created using the program. <laughs> 